Hi, hi, it's Yvonne. I'm at the Goodwill by my house. I haven't been to this one for a while. I do want to um, introduce you to somebody. I went back to New Horizons and I got, I'll show you their cart first, and I went and got the jars of clay pictures. So, so many of you are going to be happy, but John and Heidi wanted them and they just picked them up. They paid me yesterday and they're, we met here and they picked them up. Heidi has an eBay store. John helps her now and then, but he's still working. So I'm going to raise the camera up and they're going to say hi. And I will drop Heidi's eBay store as a link, okay? If you guys want to go check it out. Okay, so I'm going to let them say hi. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? <laughs> hi, that's John and Heidi. Yep. You guys might have seen them commenting about those pictures too, but they emailed me. She's got some goodies. We discussed that. That's a winner. That pot is West Germany. It's gorgeous. I'm in love with these, these wooden pieces. What else was in there? I don't, we're not sure what this is, but it's lovely. I I don't want to, I don't think Mexican pottery, but it's lovely. It's pretty, yeah. It's There's pretty. Glass thing in here. Oh, okay. Let's see what else. How I don't know. Found? This is cute. This is cute. Let me see the bottom. Whose is it? It Hard doesn't to tell, say. But this is cute. And the price is right, right? Yeah. Their prices are a little bit better again today. You know, this one goes through moods, right? Okay, I'll find a mirror to say hi in just a minute, and we're all going to go shop. Okay, so John and Heidi, they drove down from Denver area. And so while they're here, of course, they're going to shop and hit some thrift stores. So they're, you know, double teaming it to see what they can find. So let's look. So remember, some things for the booth, some things for online sales, and some things for eBay. I've got something coming up with Fatbird Finds. I've been telling you guys. They like the older linens and stuff. This is adorable. Look. I think that'll clean up. That plastic grid. <laughs> I'll save that for the live sale with them. Some things, you guys, remember, might look better on camera than it actually is. So... Don't get mad when I don't pick everything up. I better just put that back. Let's get down and see. <laughs> Ceramic pretzel something or other. Resin, but you're cute. I appreciate you. This cookie jar is $9.99. That's fun. A little more than I want to spend, but someone's going to be happy about that. She's an older piece, 60s or 70s. Oh, she's a self shelf sitter. Kind of holly hobbyish shelf sitter, but she's cracked. Or I'd be tempted to get that. Always need more cowbell, right? Always. <laughs> I would get that at first glance I thought it was that acrylic you know that like spun acrylic plastic um, basket and I would have definitely got it it's pretty it's glass but it's ten dollars I'm gonna pass if it would have been the acrylic I would have got it that's a pretty pottery bowl for $2.99 Candy C. Anthony Candy C. Anthony that's nice too. Only a dollar twenty-nine. That's a possibility. Japan. Thought maybe like Italy or something. These look new. Let's see. There's some shells, but I think John and Heidi said they looked at them and they're all kind of broken already. So I'll probably pass an interesting slab of glass. Hey, I want to tell you guys something before I forget. So I was checking up on Glassy Baby, right? Um, and they also added tumble ups. So beware of that. I told you they added drinking glasses, two different kinds, but they also are doing tumble ups more recently. So... another basket uh, only $2.99 but I've got some in my booth already they just don't seem to be a favorite 
$9.99. That is from Star Wars. Classy Baby, as you guys know, has this kind of shape, but uh, not quite so tapered at the bottom. And of course, the top is not going to be that cut where you can almost hurt yourself. And I think, I'm trying to remember the dimensions. Is it three and a half by five? I don't know, but you can go to the website and check. But, you know, they would have the um, birthmark on the bottom. It's crazy busy. They're having some kind of field trip. Anyways, two pieces of Baccarat. Now they are chips, so I don't think I'm gonna get those, but I'm gonna look up the value. Smiley face mug. Not the most epic Raku pot, but um, Heidi gave it to me to see if I wanted it. Uh, $2.49, it's a good effort. I'm gonna put it in the booth, I don't know what to say one of those candles because you know how hard they are to find not broken oh my goodness good price nice little vintage piece that has a tarantula or something in it these are just little rhinestones i might need for a project they're calling them confetti gems they're just little blank rhinestones glass though this is a hall picture so I really like it. I think I'm gonna get it. Let me turn that around for you. I don't think they sell for a whole lot. I've sold a few of their teapots, but that's just really nice. And I like this little owl pitcher. Creamer. Looks like gonna be Mexican or something. Mexican redware perhaps. And this was on a rounder. Lightweight brass box votive holder, it looks like. That's just for me. It's pretty. It's just glass. I've got silverware and whatnot to match this for when I do want to do a matchy matchy. <laughs> and hey, these are still sealed. That, these are expensive. But it's still sealed and it's just little capsules. I'm going to buy both of those for me. And you know when you do box color and you get the best conditioner ever in these little tubes. And you're like, oh, I want to buy this in a bottle. But they don't sell it. <laughs> so someone donated four of them. So those are mine. Any, am I missing anything? Oh my goodness, this. Vintage McDonald's glass with a smiley face. They want a lot for it. Oh my goodness. I know. It's from my collection though. And it's vintage. I'm not a McDonald's fan. Well, I was when I was younger, believe me. A Big Mac was the bomb. I'm not sure about this. Made in USA, Wilton... Con okay, Wilton something. I'm fascinated by it. Pewter pitcher. Well, they're thinning out the buyers, customers, but the, um, I don't know how to say this. You guys will know what I'm talking about. You've probably experienced this. The little Goodwill field trip of, you know, special needs, I guess I could say, um, is still here. So, and you know, they have an extra happy time. So, do you know what I mean? Gets a little hectic. Okay. I'll be back in a little bit. Hi, you guys. I left the Goodwill. I know you guys kind of got gypped on that trip. It was just too crazy to film too much. But um, I did get two more items, some vintage enamel wear canisters. They're really cool. And two boxes of Rodenfeld's night renewing capsules. Now, current cop comps for resale are about a hundred bucks but you know don't quote me on that yet because I couldn't find an expiration date so I'm gonna have to like find out through the serial numbers I guess or something or look more closely but they were only $1.29 a box so if the expiration is done not too old though I'll just use them for myself but those might have some good resale value 
okay, I'm at the post office. I'm going to drop off my shipping and pick up some packages that are waiting for me, and then we'll go someplace else. All right. Sorry about that, you guys. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Well, I decided to run back down to the Ark real quick. I didn't think I was going to have time, but oh, I bought, they restocked their sunglasses. I like those. Those are a little girly for me, but I want to try it. And I like those. Those are so 60s, 70s. They're not aviators, which is my favorite, but look, they're pretty cool. There's another interesting show. Let's see, I like that too. I think we're going to get those since they're half price. It'll be a challenge for... Oh, I need these. This is Kojak. Look. Oh, this one's bigger and prettier. Yep. Maybe Mrs. Kojak will drop in the comments of why I'm... Look, oh, look at that one. Why I'm doing this for her. <laughs> this will be her second one. Maybe she'll tell you guys in the comments. I don't want to tell her story without permission. Let's just say she wants another one, okay? <laughs> Those are pretty too. One's bigger. And wow, look at the other side of that. Ouch. I might keep that one actually, but <laughs> we'll see. Okay, well, I'm glad I popped in. We'll find a few things. I'm not gonna... I'm never gonna give up. If some of the prices are going up, you know, there's a bright side to it too because especially people who don't love thrifting, they might be like, oh, what's the point anymore? That's kind of vintage. Prices are high. And so when we have things for sale, they might not balk at the price. I'm not explaining myself very well, but you know what I'm trying to say. It's not the end of the world. And we have to adjust our prices accordingly. Alaska. I like that though. Little hummingbird on there. San Francisco. Oh, there's that name. I sold the cat at a live sale not too long ago. It was only half a sticker. Enough for most of us to remember. Pretty close. There's stuff, some of it, you know, it's a moderate resale value. Don't pay too much for it, but it's pretty cute with the bird. How much is it? No, I can't pay $7.99 because probably only get 10 15 for it. Porcelain thimble collection. $6.99. That would be a little more than I'd want to spend too. It's alright. We're going to find stuff. We're going to find workable stuff. It's got flash on it. <laughs> I think those are from the Dollar Tree arc. I'm just saying. There's an older piece, I know, but it's just transfer, but that looks a lot older. Crown Ivory. I like this slab of wood. Is that half price too? I think so. I think orange is half price. I better double check that because normally whatever's half price, you don't really find a lot of. A little bit of lead crystal in that piece. Little big lots item. <laughs> oh, let me double check that. No. I need to double check this too for some reason. I'm just feeling it. Yeah. $1.99. We're going to look that up. I'm feeling this. Look at the enamel glazing. Check that out. That's a little Mexican pottery piece. That's a little different, isn't it? By the way, I've got some fun Mexican pottery pieces. Um, some things a little more vibrant like this. I think you guys are going to get tickled by it. I want 
with you, I think. Okay, there's no way orange is the cell color. I am mistaken. I have to be. Let me go find out. <laughs> I remember these little ashtrays. Those were a little cheaper. I'd buy all three of them. That looks like an Amaji. Yeah. $4.99 though, not on sale. And you know what? I've sold a few pieces out of my booth, but they don't sell for that much. They really don't. If it's something just, I mean, if it's just absolutely gorgeous, really unique color, someone might. And a lot of people think this is Indian pottery, but it's not. It's made in the USA, yes, but it's um, influenced, inspired. Someone who uses their, a non-Native American Indian who uses their techniques. So don't be fooled about that. Your cute little vintage bud base. I just, I can't pay that price for resale. Personal use, that's awesome, but. PV, is that Paula Dean? <laughs> I don't want that. For Let's sure. check out mugs. With, uh, uh, the workers talking. It's like a Hilo Hattie. Oh man, there was a day when Hilo Hattie stuff, especially like their shirts and dresses, like you could really get some decent money. It's a little iffy now. Cover girl, that's funny. That's interesting. I wonder if that was a promo piece. Oh, I see something. Look little seahorses on it some studio pottery mug that's cute and it is signed $1.99 2017 yeah I like it Amish country <laughs> my husband's from Pennsylvania I think I told you guys that This looks like an English mug. Let's see. Yep. So one time I picked up a mug like this, you know, because it just looks more quality and delicate. And it was an English mug. And I think I got 50 or $60 for it. I got quite a surprise. This one's $19.91. We might check this out too. I lived in Dallas for a long time. And I was born in Dallas. I know what those are. I'm gonna give you guys a moment. <laughs> you know what they are too. Yes, the Homer Lachlan. I don't remember exactly the whole timeline of Homer Lachlan's and Fiesta, but I have two more. So actually, I put them in George's box. Okay, half price, yes. I'm not sure what I'll do now. A little chippy chip. No, just a little bit. I don't care. That's a pretty purple color. Okay, not too bad in the mugs, right? Can't complain. I think that was it. Let's look for some cool stuff in here. Okay, I did it. No fire and light, no glassy baby, no lead crystal to speak of, no absolutely awesome vintage. Wait a minute, did I see these? This is like plastic. That's pretty. One thing almost did happen. If I could, I mean, if there would just at least been one more. And that's this, only $1.29. Apparently I don't know my colors yet. Pink, not orange. I was feeling like no. So I have to reevaluate a few pieces because <laughs> it's pink. Because it's pink, not orange. 
I think most stuff is still fine though. I might have to reevaluate the Fiesta for three ninety nine because I think those only sell for about ten to tw uh, ten to fifteen at the most. I am gonna get this. Sixty nine cents is still good. They're adorable. They're etched, silver rimmed, and there's just like what eight or nine of them. There's a grip of them. I think everything else will be okay. I'm not sure. I'll deal with it when we're done. I'm not going to panic yet. <laughs> Ecuador. Oh, that's cute. Little sewing thing. Put your. Okay, I'm not going to complain. I'm just. It is what it is. It's okay. There are other thrift stores. It's all good. Just have to work a little harder. Definitely gonna discourage some new resellers though. Shots key aisle. Dutch Special Forces. not in great shape. Precious Moments, I know where all the rest of your crew is. They're at American Classics. Half price. A little Dresden-y looking thing. The quality's not there though. Oh, I am all about the Lucite. That one's not even in that great condition. I'm sorry. I don't know what it is about me and Lucite and acrylic. It's just somebody when I was growing up in the 70s and 80s must have had a lot of it in their decor. Because I'm just fascinated with it. There's some Renaissance festival. I, no, that's at one of those restaurants. It might be Deneen Pottery, though. They do a lot. It's not marked. They do a lot of that kind of style. Oh, hi. Hi there. See? You just made everything better. You're only 99 cents. You just made everything better. Oh, I love you. Someone's going to love you too if I sell you. Yep, we're not going to give up. Hey, she has... Does she have googly eyes? <laughs> Sorry, it's your camera shaking because I'm generally laughing. Not super quality, you guys. It probably looks like it to you, but it's not. So I'm not even going to pick it up. That's new. All right, I'll pick it up. Super lightweight resin. I know it's pretty. I know it is. How much was it? $7.99. Yeah, I know it's cute. Looked at this last time. I didn't want to spend $7.99 for it. That's but if somebody wanted it for themselves, it's awesome. Awesome little piece. Hey, I want to say something. I see a lot of mistakes. See this piece here? It's kind of like faceted geode. This is not Murano. Okay. If you see, look on eBay, you might see some people calling it Murano. It is not. Um, if you keep looking, you're going to find out these are imported by a gift company, a home decor company. They're relatively new, and I think brand new you can get one for about 20 I've sold a couple used, and there I do have one viewer that apparently collects them, so I'm not saying there's no value in it, and I'm not saying they're not gorgeous. I'm just saying don't confuse it with Murano. That's all. As a matter of fact, if that was a little cheaper, I'd probably get it. 
Hey, there's something else we can talk about. A lot of you have sent me pictures of this in different colors. I can't remember whose it is. Anchor Hawking. I'm not, I can't remember, but it's the Colony. It's called the Colony, that line. And I know the bottom square like that <clears throat> looks like the little fire and light jewelry caches. But those are like one third the size, the fire and light jewelry caches. And they're smooth on one side and textured on the other. But I, you know, I, hey, I have one too. Believe me, when I first started studying fire and light, I picked up a green one. I still have it. And that's how I know. Since then, several of you have sent me pictures. So I totally get why you would pick it up and, you know, wonder. And that's good because it's pretty close. So it's one step closer to finding one, right? Oh, I like this. That's nice. It doesn't look too old though. No, made in China. Okay. Darn, because I do have a, I always buy the little turntables when I see them because sometimes you see these without the turntable, but that is not vintage. I'll give you guys a minute. It's not fire and light. It's close. Fire and light is a little bit different dimensions and more smooth on top and tapered, but it's still good. And it's half price. It's a Blanco. I just got done looking at plush because I already sold the White Tiger. There's just certain plush that seems to do well. And there's Pops. We need to get him. He picked out a um, double. He's been using a cane, but he picked out a double, you know, wheel thing. It's time to use that just for a couple weeks because he did fall. Luckily, it was just in the house. And I had him x-rayed and everything's okay. He just must have pulled a muscle or something. But, and he's starting the process to get his teeth next week. So, give us about a month and a half or two months. <laughs> you guys. Okay. I'm not buying this. <laughs> I don't care how much y'all hollered at me. I'm not coming back to buy this. <laughs> Maybe if it had like a more of a Barbie-ish face or an animal. That's funny though, isn't it? It was worth a chuckle. I think, I oh, I added a pair of Keds gym shoes for me. Those are cool. Um, I like Keds. I usually wear the black leather, black on black. Anyways, we're going to look here real quick and then we're going to find Grandpa. Probably head home. <laughs> Wait, marijuana socks. How much is it? $3.99? It feels good though. There it is. Baccarat. Yes. Well, that's a good way to end the shopping trip, isn't it? Wait, I spotted one more thing on the way out that they must have just set out. I set it on this trash can. Now that's some serious house hippo mojo, right? <laughs> oh, I do love it. It's resin. But unfortunately, it's $26.99. So it would just have to be because I wanted it for myself. <laughs> okay, let you guys take a good look. A mama and three babies. Super big. All right, say bye, Dad. Bye. We'll see you guys later. Next time you see dad, he'll probably have all his teeth and have a great smile. Bye-bye.